Hi you guys. So right now I want to talk about this concept of being strong. This concept of being strong. So sometimes, you know, strong this word strong is used the same way in the, it's it's abused as much as this word forgiveness is used. Here's why. Because in some situations, yes, it does. It's, it's good to be strong. Yes, you want to be a mature person. You do want to be spiritually mature. You do want to be spiritually strong. Now, you don't want to wear your heart on your, on your sleeve and stuff. Where every little thing that happens in your life, you having some kind of breakdown. So I do get that. But sometimes people will say be strong in situations where you should just walk out that freaking door. Okay, where you should just walk out the door where you should just not give some some people that's in your life and it doesn't have to be do, deal with a man it's, it's, it could be um, a family member in most cases especially with black women brown women melanated who whatever you like to call yourself because I'm not going to get into s s semantics I said that in the last audio um, especially in the case with black women and their mothers there's a lot of black women, instead of being strong, they just need to cut off a lot of their family members. They need A lot of them need to cut off their mothers. A lot of them, their mothers did not support them when they were being abused as a child. And now they expect because they're older, they're just supposed to be beyond and move past all these mental illnesses. But this isn't about, you know, black women. That's just an example because I know that all too well um, based on my life. Okay, I know it all too well. Uh... So what I'm saying is this concept of being strong. So uh, I was thinking about this. What really made me think about making this audio is because um, it's a lady that I work with. She's an Indian woman. I don't know what color man she's married to. A lot of times I do assume that they might be married to another Indian man because a lot of times they tend to stick together. But at the same time, um, they're free in who they marry. She could be married to a white person, a black person. I rarely see these Indian women around here with, you know, black men, though. So here's what I have to say. So, uh, you know, she had a little emergency and had to go to the emergency room. And then came back, you know, the next day. And she was talking about how her husband spoke to her. She was, and, and because the, the, um, one of the other co-workers were saying, you know, what are you doing back to work so soon? It's the very next day you were just in the ER. I told you this, I don't know if I said this lady was pregnant. I think I did. I don't know how far along, but far enough for her, for her to be showing. No less than six months. I'll say that. No less than six months. Okay? Because I, I didn't ask her how far she was along. But, um, and that's because I just started, you know, working here. So, um, I don't get into people's business too quickly like that. But, um... She was just telling what happened. And so what happened, the reason why she said all of this is because she was telling her story because one of the co-workers was like, what are you doing back here so early? Why, you were supposed to be on leave. You were supposed to take some time off. And you're back here um, against your doctor's advice. And she said, well, who else is going to pay my bill? This is what the pregnant lady said, Indian woman said. Who else is going to pay my bill? You know, she said she has a, 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 a ER bill that's thousands of dollars, okay, that she has to pay out of her pocket. She's not going to get any help from her husband. She said her husband just kind of just walked away from her, not walked out on her, like just left the house and not coming back, but just kind of like abandoned her in her time of need, okay? Um, and so... She said the reason why he did that is because he wanted her to get an abortion. This is why I question what man is she really married to. Because I don't know how many Indian men really get their women pregnant and then say have an abortion. I don't know too many Indian men that do that. It seems like a lot of Indians value family. Okay, they value patriarchy. So I don't, I don't, um, I question who she's married to. Uh, for this man to, to to try to pressure her to get an abortion. Very well could be another Indian man, but um, I just, I rarely hear things like that. As a lot of times, I don't think they believe in abortion like that. Most, most times, it seems like they're, they're very family-oriented, okay? They really value family. So, but anyway, like I was saying, so she was talking about how her husband just kind of walked away from her, you know, just not walk away. Like I said, he didn't walk out and not come back. He just walked out the room and just like walked away from it and kind of abandoned her and her situation. 
and um she has to pay out the entire bill out of her pocket so she has to work okay and it just makes me wonder what is this guy doing what is she married to him for okay what does he do uh, you know and i know people like to get on black women about the choices they make in men but i you know i know why they get on black women because black women um too often majority of the men um unfortunately um um you know in the black so-called community are just not a good candidate for, to be a provider or a protector so a lot of black women get it bad by choosing you know the wrong kinds of men because if they're just going to stick to their own group of men they can't help but to choose the wrong man okay because most of them are just don't want to do anything you know but back to this woman so the the co-worker said be strong be strong because i think the co-worker has been talking to this woman this pregnant woman and she knows a little bit so she said just just be strong be strong now the co-worker is an asian woman she's an asian woman so like i say those those people they value family they value marriage and they're all they're older in age not the indian woman i think the indian woman might not be any more than like 38 45 she don't even look like she in a 45 she might be no more than 40. so she looks a little bit on the younger side but the asian woman is older she passed 50. And so um, she, the Asian woman was like, just be strong. And this is what I have to say. Be strong and then what? Now, I get the feeling that this Indian woman wants to probably, she, she probably values marriage so much that no matter how bad it gets, unless he's really beating on her and harming her and she feels like her life is in danger, unless it gets that bad, she probably will not leave. And the fact that this man said, I told you to get an abortion, and he just walked on her after, out, out on her after um, she had to go to the ER and she's pregnant, and he just was, it was so easy for him to walk out on her. It's not too far fetched to believe that he might be messing with somebody else. That's not too far fetched to believe because that kind of behavior is somebody who just don't seem like he's even interested in her. It looked like he might have been interested in her for whatever financial, for, for whatever she can do financially for him. Okay? I don't think that this man is really into her like that, even though they're married. And sh I don't know why they got married, okay? But for him to be walking out on a pregnant wife like that and then be so ugly, it just seems like he's with somebody else. And she probably knows it. And she's still with him. Okay, so like I said, a lot of those women, they really, really value marriage to the point where they will put up with just about anything. But that's why I said, be strong and then what? Because this sounds like a man, you cannot just be strong. You're going to be suffering. It's like telling Beyonce to be strong. She's had family members to say, be strong with Jay-Z. But I'm going to tell you the difference between Jay-Z and Beyonce and this woman and this husband that she's with. Jay-Z has millions of dollars. Even if he's not a billionaire, he definitely has hundreds of millions. Okay, he ain't broke. I don't care if he's not a billionaire. He ain't broke. He ain't broke. He's been in the company of Warren Buffett, okay? And that's I think that was his mentor. So he ain't no broke dude, whether he don't have billions or what, it don't matter. He got more money than I do, that's for sure, okay? <laughs> he got more money than a lot of men. But what I'm saying is that it's the same way people tell Beyonce to be strong. But but to be honest, if, if, if I, I wouldn't want to be in Beyonce's shoes even if I was an entertainer. I just can't take that mess. But at the same time, I, um, Beyonce is uh, and Jay Z, their marriage could be more of a business type of contract. Okay, they, they could have a contract on how many years they're supposed to stay married. They are a, a, a power couple. Maybe they have some contract. Um, you don't know who's involved with what with I'm um, saying that they have to um, have this persona in public and then you know their life is totally different behind closed doors so that's why I say Beyonce and Jay-Z is a different story and plus Jay-Z has more money than this guy this Indian woman is married to um, and so what I'm saying is that when it comes to a man that don't really provide for you she said the man don't hardly pay for nothing and that just don't seem like no Indian men. I don't know what kind of man she was, but that just don't seem, they seem like they like they're patriarchs. You know, I, now they could might be a little bit on the cheap side, 
but um, I just, I just, it seems like they value family a little bit more than how she's explaining saying this guy just said have an abortion, you know, but it could be an Indian man, though it could be, but anyway, let me get back to the point, so she's told to be strong for a man that doesn't even surprise, um, provide and it's not that he's there he's, he's not there emotionally and he's not there he's barely there physically he doesn't do anything for her it's a, he just doesn't support her period okay and she's paying a lot of the bills she has to pay her entire er bill okay then she had to come to work the very next day against doctor's advice that's how cruel this man was to her and I, I, I honestly, in my honest opinion, I cannot give the advice of be strong because this sounds like a man that she probably don't need to deal with. I wish that this lady had more family support. I wish she had family support where she can probably go over their house, even though she might like the comfort of her own home or either a family that can come over her house whenever um, she needs something, you know. And to be honest with you, she probably do have a lot of family over here because when those Indians move here, they come in packs, okay? They, <laughs> they come in packs. So she probably do have a lot of family over here. Um, and I, when I say over here, Los Angeles. Um, so I, I could not give this lady the advice of being strong. If I, if I give her the advice of being strong, it's to be strong enough to get out of this situation because this is a man that is that, that's abuse what's happening to her is abuse um and she's pregnant she's in a very difficult type of um predicament because she's about to have a newborn baby and you just it's just hard to walk away no matter how cruel a person is you're about to have a child but i'll tell you one person who was strong yes yeah, she was strong but she was strong when it came to walking away and that was that lady oh my, i hate that i forgot her name She's married to a white guy. She's on YouTube and they have over a million subscribers. They recently moved to Atlanta from New Jersey. She's a Nigerian woman. And um, recently, um, recently, um, it was a couple of black women on YouTube that discovered some tweets, some old tweets from my white husband. And they went on this, uh, they went to try to take their page down. And she, she has these twin girls. She has these twin girls. And I forgot her name, and they just had like a little boy, and I think they called him Jersey. But a lot of y'all gonna know who I'm talking about, um, because Crystalline um, talked about her too. Um, how so many people were happy at her demise, you know, at her at what she was going through. So many people were celebrating, especially black women. Um, and this was last year. A lot of you, I haven't watched any of her videos in so long, I can't remember her name because I, I just do, I don't watch her channel, so I can't remember her name. But a lot of you guys are going to know who I'm talking about. But anyway, what I'm saying with that woman, she discovered her husband was cheating on her because she's just as her, I think this is her second marriage. She was married to another white guy before, and that's who those twins are by. And I think he was cheating on her. I think he was abusive or something like that. I don't know if he was hitting her, but I definitely think he was cheating on her and he was abusive. Uh, if, if not physically, definitely emotionally and ver ver verbally abusive. And she got up and left that man while she was still pregnant with those twins. Now that's 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 strength, okay? That's a lot of strength because that is a difficult situation to be carrying some babies like that. And then you gotta walk away from your husband. Okay? <clears throat> and then you might not have a whole lot of support from your family. That 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 that, that is strength. In that case, that is strength. I would definitely say be strong in that case. I would give her all the props for that. But not be strong just to keep putting up with some, with an a-hole. Being strong to continue putting up with an a-hole, no. Because that's only going to make the matters worse. Now, um, like I said, this lady is in some kind of predicament because she's about to have a baby. But this man is absolutely not there, period. And I get the feeling he ain't going to be there for his child. So, um, you know, what do you do? And this lady seems, those Indian women, they, they value family so much that they just do everything, anything they can to make it work out. And this man is going to be so abusive that he might be absent. When this child comes, he might be an absent father. And it's just going to, the, the child is going to notice. You know, the child is going to notice and the child is going to be carrying a lot of um, resentment for that reason. So what do you do? 
But I want to talk about just the whole concept of being strong aside from her. You know, some people say be strong when you're being abused by your family, by your mother. You might have a mother who's overly critical of everything and nothing you do is right and they want to be overly critical. And, or just something else going on, you know, in your life. You know, things that you have a little bit more control over. And you're told to be strong, but be strong only to put up with their abuse. Why can't you be strong enough to leave? You Sometimes you got to be strong enough to leave instead of just be strong enough to put up with their abuse. Because sometimes putting up with somebody's abuse could be considered weakness too. You know, because sometimes people put up with a lot of abuse because they might not know anything else. And they're afraid of what they don't know what they're going to do afterwards. They don't know what to do with their life afterwards. They don't know what's next. And so they put up with abuse because it's been happening for so long in a lot of ways. It's kind of what they know. Whether they say they like it, whether they complain, or whether they say they like it or they don't like it, they're used to their abuse and they stay there. Um, this is the case with a lot of black women constantly putting up with black men's abuse. Okay? Sometimes people say they don't like it, but at the same time they don't know anything different and so they don't know what to do if it was to leave. So that's not always, putting up with abuse is not always strength. Sometimes that could be weakness because you are afraid of the unknown. And this lady, this Nigerian woman I talked about who left her husband while she was pregnant with twins. Now that took some courage. That took a lot of courage to leave somebody, your husband, and you pregnant with some twins. Okay? Uh, but anyway, that'll be it. I got to get back to work. And um, you guys let me know what you think and I'll talk to you soon.